Hello everybody, um, it is the, um, I set my elements on the canvas, I, uh, I choose uh, pictures and uh, holographic texture, rock uh, on my uh, bank, my personal bank of images and uh, it is a uh, kind of collage, collage I'm creating now so uh, I import my uh, elements from the previous previous poster I, uh, I made before and now um, now that uh, my elements are on my canvas I just have to place them nicely to create uh, interest create visual interest uh, I named the uh, miniseries Future Castle um don't ask why it came like that because i found the image of uh, this uh, tower there of a castle and uh, i found it's pretty interesting to use it and um, since uh, i found this image i take the tape a uh, kind of uh, diagram about uh, solar or the planet, the ellipse they made, the rotation, um, and yeah, I took this uh, a pattern there, and maybe it's more texture, and um, I composed something with uh, all of that, like uh, a vector shape here and uh, noise, background, I cut inside to create uh, this uh, texture there. So now I notice uh, this side is too straight. I will, uh, I will cut a little bit inside. So I take my lasso tool, L, and I cut a little bit inside to create more interesting shape more organic, not straight. Here we are. So let's place it there, see what happens with it. So now that I have uh, all the elements, really just uh, the fun part about uh, testing where, um, testing where uh, the where I can place the element and where they can look the more, the more interesting and find the right balance between each of them and that's part of the graphic process we used to work for customer so now um, yesterday I placed the element from the center of the poster and uh, today I want them to, to come a little bit outside I want them to come from the outside and see what what happens with different uh, with different lay layout Still no VPN working there. Let's place my castle, my tower a little bit up. Oh, oh, okay. So let's merge this together. I want to place it in front of the number four. Maybe place it there a little bit up, see what's happened. Up, I have my shape there. Let's see if that work well, where it can work better. I, the shadow of the up tower didn't follow. No, it's there 
let's select them all here we are let's merge them like that it will be easier to select them so yeah one of the problem with uh, with my poster is that the poster size is really huge it's a A1 format and the fine picture um, large enough to play with uh, it's really uh, it's really a burden so now I want this text to the U of future pass front of the rock so let's work on this one right now. so I create a mask layer layer mask I select the future the future letter I go back on my layer mask B to select the brush tool I'm just going to paint in black inside those those uh, square in the U and then they appear there let's remove that here I can the uh, uh, what it is Kadna so like that oh I should select the rock and then I can move it and it still continue to work yeah like that it's nice better here I have a little window duplication it's very funny let's place it a little bit strangely there it's maybe dirty no so I continue to, to place my elements and see what what I can do if I can duplicate some some stuff there let's get it circle let's place it somewhere near here why not let's make a uh, Let's duplicate this noise texture there. Command C, Command V. Wow! The reason why it changed is because the blend mode is set on uh, on soft light, and here it comes back to normal. Yeah, looks uh, interesting. Interesting texture. <coughs> so let's place it somewhere near here, or maybe not over the holographic element. <coughs> Sorry for this. So mm, maybe I should set the blend mode there. Yeah. Mm, keep the white there, it's nice. Overlay looks okay. Just on the holographic there. Um, let's duplicate the, the tape there. Mm, maybe I should play this one down you see my uh, my tower is uh, horizontal it creates a horizontal a visual horizontal horizontal line there you can follow with the eyes here I have another vertical line and then here I have the oblique so it breaks a little bit and it doesn't fit well for now so let's have uh, let's find another place for it yeah it really breaks the the visual uh, 
visual style. Uh, VPN doesn't work. Let's try one more time. Let's place it there. Yeah, it's oblique. Uh, it really breaks uh, the visual. It doesn't uh, create the interest I want. Maybe here I should uh, should use the horizontal uh, oblique effect. And why not? This diagram is maybe not well placed. Or maybe the rock should go front of it. So try, see what happens. Play. Okay, this one should go behind the tower. Where is the tower? My layer. Yeah. Mm, the shadow is strong. Let's try something over this holographic texture. Hmm, that ID there. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, not too high, maybe less, 53 pixel, 0.1. And now set the blend mode of a linear dodge, it's too bright, maybe go down here. Yeah, I didn't like the shadow, it makes it too dark. It's like a moon there. Mm, this one don't work very well. I have a large shadow there. Uh, that's the rock. That's my rock shadow. Uh, we didn't merge the layer together. Let's try to fix it now. Let's place it here. And now you see the shadow go over the U. So I select my uh, layer mask. Uh, I select, I uh, push Alt and drag it over this layer there, and that hide the part of the shadow there. So now it looks fine here on the U. I have the shadow the G2, but not in this bar. Fine. So this diagram is not well placed. I don't like it there. Maybe here, it's nice. Uh, this one doesn't work well there. Let's find a good place for it. It's light. It's light color. Yeah. Behind the tower in front, I don't know. Let's see what happens there. And um, I was uh, worrying about the, the oblique line there, and um, what you can what you can create when you design a poster is to to create horizontal line you see there from the rock, this diagram mm -hmm. and this holographic circle. And there are visual line, an oblique line, you can see it and the four play a role too there. It's an horizontal line, uh, an oblique line, sorry, that break a little bit the vertical and the horizontal, horizontal and vertical lines. So let's continue to create the line there, this oblique mm, that break a little bit. Mm, let's place it near here, yeah, that's fine. Let's go down with this number four. Let's place the rock somewhere else too, just there, yeah start to look like something nice yeah this diagram is nice i should that's the piece 
I should uh, create the oblique line from. So now I should place the other one good. Um, find a good rhythm between them and don't forget about the weight of the elements because this one was uh, too too strong compared to this diagram so vertical uh, this oblique now looks uh, boom 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 yeah see the are like sound or yeah, there are something there are game there and this one just set it somewhere here that's okay now ah, this circuit is doesn't work well there yeah maybe but I need to pass over the top of the tower like this so I go behind yeah, this one is just let's set it near the type. Fine. Maybe it's a little bit too too hard. I should cut it. So let's select the lasso tool, the polygonal 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 lasso tool. Up, oh, cut a little bit inside. Done. Yeah, looks a little bit better. See. This uh, oblique line here, here, the tape to place a roll, and here I have an oblique tool. And it start to look uh, like <coughs> something good. Now let's try. Oh, let's try it as an oblique tool. Come on, T to transform. Okay, yeah, like this, maybe. Yeah, that's looks nice for now. Let's see what happens with the other. I should make it smaller, maybe create more interest. Yeah, like this. What you find? Should I let space between? Should I go there? Yeah, there is not bad. Let's set it behind the number four. Not bad. Yeah, I think that's okay. It looks fine there. And this circle is uh, looks cool. What if I place it there? Make it smaller, just like planets. <coughs> And it looked not like a little rock, but like uh, yeah, like a little asteroid there. And it's pretty. It start to look like something fine, but something is missing. And I think I need a little bit of type there. Let's select the previous designs. Reading Photoshop format. Yeah, you see here, I started from the center and set the element around the holographic shape and it's pretty dynamic, explosive. The, yeah, the poster looks really nice. Let's play some D because the tower, this kind of tower is not only to see the enemy coming far it's also to a defensive role oh Bezier mono typeface let's set it somewhere maybe it's still too big yeah use medium size let's it's regular it's cool let's make it smaller 26 Point. Maybe use more uh, curling. Is that curling in English? Uh, tracking. 
track is curling is between each letter. No, it should not touch the tower here. Looks fine. <coughs> okay. Just gonna duplicate it somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Looks nice there. Yeah, it doesn't perturbate the the eyes. The eyes, so it's fine. And this one should go behind everything else. It's ah no. Um, so for this, I want the tape pass over over it. So I select my tape command and click on the layer thumbnail. I continue to push command but this time with shift and you see the little plus near the hand and I select uh, I, um, it's an additional se selection so I uh, I select the shape uh, of the wow the shadow there so let's go on the um, ooh. The layer mask and with my brush tool I paint here. Yeah, done. Voilà. Select my two layers there. Down a little bit. No, here it was bad. So I select my tape. I go up because here they create a little eye eye distraction that I really don't like. Add it up. Let's come back here. And select those little shape because they are pretty nice. This little square there, maybe here, maybe not. Use them vertically. Why not here? Maybe they are nice. No. Yeah, here it's fine. What did I have there too? Oh, this big diagram. Let's see if I can do something with with it. Yeah, it's huge. Can I place it near my information? Is there? Maybe not. Maybe there. No, no, I don't need this one there on this poster. Here are some texture. Maybe I can import them directly. Let's place the layer on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cre it creates a little bit of interest. Really seen, but it's there. Uh, let's play a little bit more with this texture. Let's set it over the tower there. Mm -hmm. Hard light, maybe not. Vivid light looks nice. Okay, fine for the tower there. Maybe I should duplicate it on the other tower here. Yeah, looks not bad. Mm. 
Yeah, I think all the elements are set there. Now I should start to duplicate some of them and see what I can do. Uh, yeah, there are two lines there. This one is interesting. Let's see how I can make it work with the other shape. Let's place it behind the two tower and see if I can create a link between those. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Maybe accentuate the future world there and there. Maybe not. Maybe like this. Okay. Fine. Let's see if I place it on the top corner. Yeah, it's fine. <coughs> that scotch, that tape is too big. <coughs> yeah, it's really too big. Sure, it's more like that. We can see more. More of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. That looks fine. Maybe this scotch a little bit more up. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do something with this one. There. It was larger before. Ah, why not? Let's create a cushion blur filter over it and use the color dodge or something over it. Yeah. Oh. It's really too light, so let's see if I duplicate it one more time and set it in another blend mode. Okay, now burned. Yeah. Looks bright, maybe a little too much. 12% should be okay. <coughs> Smaller is better. No. Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, okay. This looks fine. Yeah, it uh, it looks uh, it looks fine now. Uh, let's see if I can play. This a part of the tower and uh, continue the. Oh, okay. It was a pretty interesting there. Yeah, why not? One more time. Yeah, it's like glitch effect. Okay, let's create more there. Of this kind of glitch. Effect. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. 
make it let's see what it does as it can do there like this yeah interesting interesting and maybe this element should be moved a little bit uh, where they are It wasn't far. <coughs> Let's select this shape again. And yeah, it's um, it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's continue the process a little bit. <coughs> No, front of maybe front of. Hmm, why not? Let's see if there is a better place for it. Okay. Let's dedicate the window there. Then with the pad here. Now oh, it's okay, it looks fine. Start to look fine. Let's place it over the R later. No, that's okay. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's create a triangular shape here with these two. With the shadow, right, so it, uh, it looks fine. Okay, let's see if I create a horizontal line a bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. Duplicate and put it, put it over the the tower we down up vertically. Mm. Nah, it looks weird. This one looks weird. And this should go there. And follow the this line here. Maybe this one is not where it is. And here, here. Somewhere here. Okay. This one's fine. Let's place this one. Okay, okay. It's okay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, it's a mono Bazi mono is a monotype. I really enjoy the the space between and the style of the letter especially the R there I write future with the E no let's play with the kerning there yeah the kerning okay. let's make crazy number Future okay. we vertically set it and see what happens. Place it near here. Duplicate it one more time. Maybe two. Three. Okay. 
Okay. Ready. Ready. The poster number uh, 1451 is, is done now, I think, really. Uh, maybe I can continue to play with, uh, with different a different kind of uh, stuff but uh, I think I work uh, enough on this one yeah I spend uh, 35 minutes to, to make it enough of course uh, I can think a little bit more about it and uh, continue to to find new ideas and uh, nice uh, happy accident but uh, I think it's enough now. So uh, I hope uh, you find it interesting and get some inspiration from it. Um, this mini series is, uh, is it's all about uh, images I have on my uh, personal bank of image. Uh, I bought it on bundles online and um, yeah, I just select the the image one by one, put them on the canvas, the the image that uh, inspire me, just like the the tape was the first image I selected, and then uh, I look uh, for the yeah for for elements like the I think I selected the the rock secondly after I fall on this diagram there this one and this one uh, then the holographic paper um, I found the tower and the tape yeah I don't remember the order but uh, I selected selected them one by one and uh, I I place them and start to, to play with uh, with them and see what I can bring from from that. Uh, that's all. So see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Goodbye.